Doki Doki Time. Hold up. Yeah. Hey yo, Finn here, and why is my camera offset? <laughs> Just fix that real quick. Yeah, it's really getting annoying these days because this is really an old mic. I mean, old webcam. I use it. Thing. Just stand up there. Stand up. I think this is much better now. Alright, so anywho, welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. And, um, yeah, I, um, I am running out, um, I'm not in the mood right now, honestly, but, um, just gonna make another video because a lot of you guys have been waiting for it. So, uh, yeah, um, before I'll begin the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down for more stuff, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I was gonna say leave a like, but why would I do that again? So yeah, um, if you're new to the channel, um, please subscribe and always helps me out. And of course, click on the bell notification on when am I going to upload. So uh, yeah. Anyway, on with the video. So as previously mentioned, I'm not gonna do the voice voices anymore. I'm just so tired today, but um, I'll try my best to get through this video as as possible because I really want to make this for you guys. So uh, yeah. So of course we got Monica and Sayori right here where we left off. So yeah, uh, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details for the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Like me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. What? Wow. Okay, that... <laughs> Okay, that's really, uh, that's really, um, that's scary that she really went, um, closer to me. I find my, I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Oh, she went back. Hehe, <laughs> sorry. Wait, actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> A napping club actually if you if you're gonna well if you're if you're club president please well, please let there be a napping club where we could just sleep all day I really don't want to do this <laughs> bad joke I know I'm sorry you're staying up late again aren't you not that you're in a club you're gonna have less time for anime you know <laughs> you're gonna get used to it mm, yeah true that um less anime but oh well don't say that so loud I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard it's true though it's not all my headphones though yeah I know I know you're always looking out for me Sayori hehe <laughs> it's what I do best that's a problem what about you look out for me better than you look out for yourself you're still oversleeping every day aren't you Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gone up on time? That's the secret and she's not so happy about that one either. I knew it. Come on, at least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Looks like already it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori so glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah. I run my fingertips down to the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten out. Wait, there's something wrong with my headphones. Like, bruh, seriously. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is really just, just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your hair, your bow isn't straight either. There's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I don't see anything. 
I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hmm, hey, you mean me. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much it how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> oh wow, that's a very nice looking uh, angle right here. Alright. This is so funny. What is? Well, I'm just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these things. These kinds of things. Actually, yeah, let me just save that real quick. Uh, actually, yep, yeah, I'll save that right there. So, seriously, what's wrong with my headphones these days? Dang it, audio is really getting muffled all around. All right, eh? Don't say that. Don't make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The bond might come off. Okay, uh, I know this isn't like... Inappropriate, but please don't demonetize me. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button here, her <laughs> chest. No, 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 please Finn, don't think of that stuff, please. This is a kid-friendly channel. I know, it's just a game. Don't worry about it. Does this thing even fit you properly? Headphones, please stop it. <laughs> I it did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever bought it, you should have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say this. I'm not gonna say this. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Yep, I'm so glad I didn't say it, guys. Are you proud of me? I didn't say it. <sighs> Darn it, freak. Alright, this is better. Can you guys see me better now? Alright, so, anywho. Anyway, you look much better now, so. Uh, does it feel strange to see Sagura's blazer bottom up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> Larry hastily unbonds her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. If I keep an unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that it like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And he'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. But that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can feel my girlfriend's aura or something like that. Very piercing into my heart. Like, bro, this is just a game. Calm down. I'm, 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 I'm slowly freaking out now. <laughs> oh goodness. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on getting to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. And it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote right now? Hey! Finn, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. 
I couldn't really find much inspiration since I never really done this before. Well, um, actually I wrote poems before, it was, well, kinda mediocre at some point, like, I don't know, I, I really don't want to say it because it's really embarrassing to me and, um, fun fact though, yeah, I really do enjoy writing poems, not that much, but, um, it's really terrible, but I don't want to just uh, move away from my mic here and hope you guys can hear me way better now, slightly. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it with? I can't wait. Sayori and Mon Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn on a spiral note. On the other hand, Monica Wright wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Okay, now we're getting into the real gameplay right here, so uh, yeah, sure, let's go with Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. He's my good friend after all. Alright, so uh, let's do this in order, I'd say, so this will be very interesting. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Finn. Eh? I love it. Oh, that's so cute. But seriously, I'm definitely gonna write it for my girlfriend, of course. So, um, yeah, this is the game, so... Nothing to worry about. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Oh, I guess that's... Oh, that's sweet, actually. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's a part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a fin- Oh, um... Okay, confirm 50 likes, I'm gonna write a poem to my girlfriend. Please do, please do, please do. And that makes it feel extra special, like I can feel your feelings in it. I already hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird. I swear, if I'm gonna write my Finn poem to my girlfriend, I'm pretty sure she'll definitely, well, appreciate it, but okay. I know I sound really weird right now and, um, well, you know, this, but doesn't matter, it's just a game, like I said. I know, I'll shut up now. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. This really reminds me how of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you. Club room. Headphones, please. Well, <laughs> er, well, of course. I'm not really into it, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Finn. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this meets her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you'll... Have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? 
I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I want breakfast. That's the best part of this poem. I want breakfast. But actually, this whole poem from Sayori is pretty, pretty cute. So, um, well, I not cute. I meant okay. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't just answer. Can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Sayori, please just freaking sleep early, just like MC said. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how do I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Oh, so that that really makes it be a I want breakfast. <laughs> That's actually pretty uh, pretty funny and hilarious, I'd say. Even though you were too we were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. I mean, of course, skipping breakfast is bad. I love breakfast. I'm a breakfast guy myself, so um, don't don't skip breakfast, guys. Don't skip. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look for forward to it. Alright, next one. Uh, let's see, I guess we'll show it to... Uh, I guess Natsuki. Let's, let's do this in order. Dot dot dot. Huh? Well, it's... About what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke my emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get... Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. I'll pass. Hmm. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Uh, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? The writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Like when it's easy to read but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. Decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, um, also, I'm um, just a, uh, just to say I really am enthusiastic and happy right now because of that one video I literally failed to make so um please don't ask me to upload that if you want to then of course talk to me about it if you want to so uh, yeah let's get on with it anywho so um let's see um uh, i guess monica's up next let's leave yuri for last hi finn having a good time so far uh yeah good glad to hear it 
By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. <coughs> Excuse me, I just burped there. I'm much better off with just going with the flow until I'm more sold in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> don't worry, Finn. We're all a little best today, don't you? You know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had one of those sorts of things in common. Ah, oh, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't, wouldn't expect. Like the way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm, you sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. She knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too. Yeah, that's really unexpected. Well, to their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure and I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might feel a little bit biased towards toward their own kinds of styles, but it'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to to <laughs> my 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 mouth stop breaking. <laughs> So, so don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. I sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's cause I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. Up here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good um, poem right there. I like it. So, what do you think? It's it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has pretty gotten has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing in between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany re recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, 
here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're reading, or I mean writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thank you. Thanks for listening. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a very good you that's a good advice, um, Monica. But eh, I'll just rather ask my girlfriend, I guess. But she's really good at poems. Like trust me. If one of you guys are friends with my girlfriend, then I can tell. Like she's really amazing at making poems and stuff, and I've been reading it so much, and I really really love it to the death. I, I honestly li like my girlfriend's poems, but it's just a matter of time anyway, so anywho. Yuri is up last. <coughs> Excuse me. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time to f for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It's. F it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Don. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading it through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Ooh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. She's so embarrassed right now. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on one of them. I think the most sort of not noticeable thing I recognize in writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit two together. The end result is that, the bo is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, uh, it's it's as if her demeanor really changes totally changes sorry about that her stammering is really gone and she sounds like an expert of course that's not something you can be blamed for there are so many skills and techniques that go into writing a simple poem writing even a simple poem mistake i was reading too fast not just for finding them and re and building them but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Hmm, that's a uh, nice smile. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? True. Ghost under the light. Tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last to be replaced by the sickening dark um, blue green hue of the future. I bathe, calms, breathing air of the present but leaving in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Hmm, not bad. I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking about that at all. But it took you a long time to read. 
Ah, well, I don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write you longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. Like it. I'll be honest. Since this is our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo-hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Finn. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance out over it after all. Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their own work their work. They usually more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her past, remaining in a place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't thought about, even thought about that. <clears throat> Not fail. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. Guess I'll have to keep trying. Counting on you. Phew. All right. So um. All right. So um. I guess I could just end the video here. So um. Let me just uh, save that real quick. Um. I don't know about that one. So uh, anyway. I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I know it's a little bit longer than usual than my other videos besides Minecraft and stuff. But really, I think um, doing this kind of style of videos in my channel lately, um, maybe I'm a little bit uncomf a little bit okay with it. But since this is a Minecraft channel and stuff, but I really love to like make more videos for you guys. Like, hear me out. I just really want to like entertain you guys a lot more and I know I've been a lot more lazier or busier or something but it's just that I really want to like take a break enjoy my life and uh, I mean enjoy my vacation as far as it gets but as soon but yeah so uh, don't worry of course I'll be getting back for more stuff soon and um, as mentioned do not ask me about that one video I mentioned during this recording because really it's really gotten bad so uh, yeah so um like I said in the uh, the intro, leave a like, comment down, subscribe to the channel if you're new. So um, yeah, um, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome, love you all. Fin the Dime Knight signing off. See you guys next time.